do your scrappy game against Partick on Saturday, but that's a solid point. Yeah, I think so. Um, two very good teams. Um, Partick and ourselves on a very good run, albeit we've lost um, one in seven. I think they've not been beaten six, I think so. Yeah, it was, a, it was always going to be a tough game, Gareth, but um, there was not much in the game, so in reflection of the game, probably a draw was a fair result. Did you see it as a game where it was really just two sides going up against each other and not wanting to lose? Nah, because we, we wanted to win the game. Um, I'd imagine party wanted to win the game, but I think two teams evenly matched, cancelled each other out. There wasn't a lot of clear-cut opportunity in the game. We'd probably won with Robbie's free kick, and I think they had won. So in the main, defences were on top. Um, on another day, ourselves or them could have nicked it, but I think a draw overall, Gareth, so a good point. It's probably a, a, an important point for us. And you said in there as well, just one defeat in the last seven games. It's it's, it's good good form to be going into in the last eight games. Yeah, definitely. You know, obviously we were disappointed with the performance at home against Air, but I think on Saturday it was a, another solid performance, a good clean sheet, and, and hopefully that gives us confidence going into um, tomorrow night's game. And a lot of people, you know, might might forget with just how well you've done this season. It's still your first full season in management. You know, in a really strong position. Yeah, but listen. You always want to be better. Fans always want you to be better. And listen, that's just part and parcel of being uh, in football with manager, player, staff, whatever you want to, to call it. You're always in the scrutiny. Um, but listen, the boys have been great. It's, it's Like you say, we've got seven games left or eight games left. And we've got more points than we had last season already with eight games left. So there's always there's progression there, Gareth. That's the main thing when I came to the club, is to progress the club forward. And I think at the moment we're doing that. In front of the BBC cameras again tomorrow night against our broth, a side that's obviously been hard to beat this season. Just your thoughts going into it? Yeah, listen, I've got the utmost respect for Dick and Ian. Um, two fantastic people who've been in the game a long, long time. So, um, yeah, they'll have their team fired up for the game. They're in a, a precarious position, a position that they probably didn't think they would be in. Um, Again, this season we've, I wouldn't say we've struggled against them, but we've just, they've got the better as um, twice and we've drew up there, so um, we need to get up there full of confidence, we know it'll be a tough game, but we got to go there with our own game plan, no worry too much about our bros game plan and, and hopefully come away with a positive result, Gareth, that's the same, we, we want to go there and, and, and win the game. It's a side that obviously not just you, but you know the club in general in recent seasons, it's, it's been hard to beat them, is, is that obviously something you'll be keen to change tomorrow night? Yeah, but you're, you're not on a given right to, to win any game of football, Gareth. And listen, fair play to Broth and the, like you said, in a few seasons previous, um, they've, they've done well against Morton, so we got to try and change that tomorrow. Um, but again, it'll be a tough game. They've got good players. Um, they're fighting for a life, so we know how difficult the game's going to be, but we've got to go there positively and hopefully come away with a, a good game. Um, a good uh, performance, sorry. Of course, I win tomorrow night as well. Would put you within just touching distance of second place. Obviously, have extra matches played, but a, a good position to be in ahead of the weekend of the, the rest of the fixtures. Yeah, it's always important if you're playing on the Friday night to, to get a positive result, albeit meaning three points. Um, and that's all we'll be looking for. That then you can put the feet up over the weekend and watch the rest of the results. You also put pressure on our teams and know that they have to win. So our, our main aim is to win the game, and I'd imagine. Dick and Ian's main, main aim is to, to try and pick up three points for a bro. So, again, Friday night under the, under the lights with the cameras there, it's got the makings of a good game. In terms of team selection, obviously, saw Dara coming back against Partick, getting a, a full 90 minutes in. How did you, how did you find his, he failed? Yeah, he'd done, he'd, he'd done well, you know, he's a good player, he's a young boy, says well, but he's, he's done well, him and Birdie have, have um, done really well, but if he's done well when he's come in as well. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. Um, obviously, there could be a few changes tomorrow. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it, it goes um, over today and tomorrow. Of course, we mentioned last week as well that Jai will be on the sidelines for a, a few weeks. Yet. Is it looking like the start of April for him? Who knows? We'll see. We just need to, to go by week by week um, and, and see how he's progressing. Um, he's got a bit of a tear in his, his abductor, so we need to see how that settles down. And just in terms of the rest of the team, is it, is it all good to go? Yep, yeah, everybody else fit and available. So, like I say, we'll, we'll assess the, 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 the team after training this morning and then we'll see how we go tomorrow.